Hey guys, welcome back to our Flutter with Firebase series. So in this video, we are gonna see about uh, Firebase dynamic links. So let's get started. So basically the dynamic links is uh, used to achieve the goal of what the deep linking concept is capable of. So it's basically like uh, let the users to enter into the any any location inside our application by using a link. So that's where the dynamic link is very useful. Uh, like uh, it, it just used to like achieve that the thing in a very 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 easier way. So now we'll see how to implement Firebase dynamic links in our Flutter. So inside the pubspec.yaml, uh, add the Firebase dynamic link plugin inside your project. And before that, make sure that you have done all the setup and configuration for our Firebase SDK. So after you have uh, defined the plugin here, now move on to the main here. So inside the main function, make sure that you have initialized the Firebase initialized app. So then only you can able to use the all those service provided by Firebase. So it, so inside the my home page. So I have declared a variable called URL. So in the initial state, I have called the any dynamic link function here. So in this function, I'm, I'm just uh, like uh, listening the dynamic link uh, when the user is uh, like uh, open some certain link URL. So it will be redirect to our app whenever the our our dynamic link is uh, like uh, opened. So the, by using the pending dynamic link data, so this will be the uh, like uh, callback function from we will be getting from the get initial link. So it will be uh, like called whenever our, our dynamic link data will be uh, opened in certain app. Uh, after that, we'll be like uh, passing the link with our URI. So then we will be able to like uh, split the URL and you can use the you, you can like decode the data. What what the what is it? coming from our URL. So for that I have used a URI here. And once we get the deep link, I will be calling the function called handle dynamic link. So here we'll be handling our data. So like uh, if, if you want to like uh, navigating to a particular screen, you, you can just use those thing here. Uh, here I'm just uh, comparing the string, uh, separator string of one is a post. So if it's a dynamic link was a, Add by post means so if the user is uh, like opened the post dynamic link data so we will be de redirecting them into our application to particular post screen location by passing the data which we is getting after the post thing so here that code will be come here and you can also like uh, listen the data from on click so for ios so you need to like handle this this thing too so then only you can able to like achieve this thing in ios too and after that, I'll be creating a UI called. Uh, I have an elevator button here, like uh, on the on first of the elevator button. I'm just calling the build dynamic link function, which is in uh, app utils. Now we'll see about it. So here I have created the dyn or function called build dynamic link. So here I'll be generating the dynamic link here. So this is the prefix URL which I am using here. Uh, for prefix URL, you, you just go to our Firebase console and create a new dynamic link. You can just it's loading. So yeah, you can just create a oh not this way. If you want to add the URL means you just press here, so you will be getting uh, all those URL which you have created before. So add URL prefix, so you'll be getting this dialog box. You can just type the which one you want to create the url as a url prefix you can just create it so right now i have already created here demo flutter dynamic dot page dot link so i'm gonna use it that and uh, yeah here i have defined that uh, url prefix here and by using the dynamic link parameters we'll be passing all those parameter to this function so initially you have to give the uri prefix and after that you have to give the link so uh, like uh, the this URI will be comes here and uh, followed by that I'm just passing the post slash post uh, I, I just declared this as a post ID so you can use it uh, any way you want and you have to give the Android parameter like uh, if the certain uh, dynamic link is uh, like uh, opened if the if that if that particular application is not installed in the user device so it will it will redirect to the uh, Play Store or App Store to download the application into the directly so for that you have to give the package name also 
So same for iOS, you have to give the bundle ID and additionally you, you have to give the app ID to app store ID. So you have to, if you if you have given the app store ID, it will uh, redirect to our app store. So if the app is not installed. So after that, you have to give the social meta tag parameters, which is uh, uh, like uh, uh, mainly used for SEO works. So you can, if you want to give the uh, like uh, social meta tag parameters, you can also give these are all the uh, optional parameters which is in uh, our dynamic link parameters. And uh, inside the social meta tag parameters, you, you can just give the description and image URL and title for it. And here I am given the one example description and the URL for the title here. And after that, you can just build a short link by using the parameters which I have defined before. And after that, I will be just returning the URL here inside the function. So if the if the uh, this button is tapped, so this will function will be called. You can get the data. So I'm just printing the data here. If the URL is not empty. I'm just printing the tag, and I have given the copy uh, copy function here. Like uh, it's just copy the URL into your clipboard. So that's what I done here. And now we'll see the output of this. So yeah, here our app is opened in our emulator device. So this is the function which I have created before. If I just click this generate dynamic link button, it will generate the dynamic link and uh, it's shown here. So by using by clicking this icon, the URL will be copied and I'll just open this URL inside the Chrome. So here I'll just paste the URL that which I have copied before. So it will be automatically redirecting to our application into a specific location that we have defined in our initial state. Yeah, it's got connecting. So yeah. So here we, we got the post inside our post screen which we have got the value of 56, which we given the while using while creating the dynamic link so here this is a post and we have given the id 56 so that data will be comes here so this is how you can achieve the firebase dynamic link in flutter so that's all for the today's video guys we'll see you in the next video stay tuned bye